Okay, you guys, I'm cracking up because I bought this 99 cent <laughs> toilet paper. Okay. Backstory. If you guys watched mine and Amanda's What's in the Box challenge, um, when I was buying all the different weird stuff to put in the box, I stopped at the 99 cent store. That's where I got the dog food. And I saw this toilet paper and I was like, oh, what a bargain. I'm gonna get these 12 rolls of toilet paper. This is the worst toilet paper ever. Do not buy toilet paper from the 99 cent store. You know, like, you know like the tissue paper you put in your gift bags? That is what I'm using right now, but there's 12 rolls of it and I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm using it all, but public service announcement, do not buy toilet paper from the 99 cent store. Don't do it. What's up guys, so I am sitting in the waiting room at the dentist to get my teeth cleaned. I have not had a teeth cleaning in almost a year, so I know that's really bad. I used to be super religious about going every six months, but when you don't have dental insurance, it's kind of like, uh, well, I guess I'll just wait. But here I am at Unforgettable Smile in Hollywood. I think I'm in Hollywood. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I got my teeth whitened here a couple of months ago. I actually have a live vlog for the whole thing. Yeah, so I'm going to get my teeth cleaned because having a good smile is definitely important, not only for prep and for stage, but for life. But teeth cleaning is done, it wasn't so bad. And the good news is I don't have any cavities. <laughs> I just got to the post office and finally picked up my P.O. Box keys. Uh, so I'll go ahead and write my P.O. Box in the description box below. You guys know Valentine's Day is coming up and your girl is single. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Kind of. <laughs> really though, I don't even care to have a Valentine. I think the only reason that I want one is because, because I really want one of those ridiculously unnecessary oversized bears. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They're the ones that are like probably as big as I am. Like I'm five feet tall on a good day and the bear is probably about the same height and definitely much wider than I am. I just really want one of those for absolutely no reason. It probably won't even fit in my house, but I want one. Probably don't send that to my P.O. Box though because I don't think it will fit. <laughs> All right guys, I'm back home. I'm heating up my second meal of the day and it is three and a half ounces of tilapia, some fresh asparagus, and some rice. As far as rice goes, I get asked this question a lot. It's honestly just a personal preference that I enjoy the taste of white jasmine rice versus a brown rice. At the end of the day, a carb is a carb, so eat what kind of rice you enjoy most. It is my rest and recovery day today from weight training, so I'm gonna be spending the majority of the day working. I have lots of different things in the works right now. I am running a sale through the new year on my custom training program, so I have lots of new clients coming in that I'm really excited to work with you guys. If you guys are interested at all in starting training beginning in the new year, make sure that you click that link in my description box to head to my website, send me an inquiry. I'm running a 20% off sale on custom programs right now. I will be cutting that off once I reach maximum capacity on the number of clients I like to take on at a time. I'm all about quality over quantity, so if you're interested, feel free to head to my website, check out my program, send me an inquiry, um, comment below, ask questions, whatever. So I'm working on a lot of different programming right now for clients, and I wanna show you guys um, something that I'm gonna sip on while I work. If you watched my How to Stop Bloating video, you know that I am faithful with taking my glutamine, not only for recovery, as this is a rest and recovery day, but it also helps tremendously with your gut lining. So, I will show you guys what I'm gonna mix up in my little cocktail right here. I'm going to use just this little cup here that was actually made from plants, so it's a recycled cup from Whole Foods. I'm gonna do one scoop of my Her Amino Burner from NLA for Her. It's gonna give me a solid dose of the amino acids that I need to rest and recover and repair my muscles and also help burn fat while I'm working. So the properties that are in here that help burn fat are L-carnitine, raspberry ketones, green tea extract, and coffee bean extract. So it's not super heavily packed with stimulants that's gonna make you feel jittery or any of those kind of nasty, yucky side effects that some fat burning stimulants give you. That's why I really like our Her Amino Burner. It's not, like I said, super heavily packed with stimulants, but it is effective. And I'm also going to do one scoop, which is five grams of powdered glutamine. It's flavorless. I'm gonna use a little straw, mix it up. my midday work cocktail. 
happy hour. Cheers. Although it is my rest day from weight training, I do still have cardio on the agenda. So I'm headed over to our apartment complex gym right now to get my cardio in. Uh, my cardio goes in line with my carb cycle. So I do my cardio on my three lower slash moderate carb intake days, and on my high carb slash like refeed day, I don't do any cardio at all. I'm doing 20 minutes of intervals on the stairs today. Sprints have been bothering my ankles. So I'm going to be doing intervals on the stairs instead. I definitely get in a really good sweat and a super good workout doing intervals on the stairs. What I do is uh, two minutes on like a moderate pace. So for me, that's like level seven to nine somewhere, depending on the machine. Some are faster or slower than others. So two minutes on level seven through nine, and then one minute on level 20. And literally I'm sprinting up the stairs for an entire minute. And then back down to level seven through nine for two minutes and repeat for the duration of 20 minutes or however long your cardio is. So give that a try. That is it. I ended up doing 25 minutes, so I was just feeling really good. Although the last three intervals were super challenging, but I think that's what prep is all about. It's really just about testing your limits and pushing past them. A lot of times in the moments when we feel challenged and we wanna quit, it's our minds that we have to convince to keep going. Your body is so much stronger than you give it credit for. Most of the time, it's our minds that are weaker than our bodies, and we really have to tell ourselves to keep going in those moments that we feel super challenged. Because I will guarantee you that 99% of the time, your body can keep going. Your body can push those heavy weights. Your body can get in those last three intervals when you're feeling super challenged and you wanna quit. Your body can 99% of the the time keep going so in those times that you feel challenged and you want to quit remind yourself that you did not get this far from quitting you got this far from continuing to push past your challenges and you got this far from not quitting so don't quit now I am sufficiently sweaty AF but I'm gonna take about five or ten minutes to do some meditation with my calm app to practice meditation and mindfulness and just give my mind that much needed reset and relaxation. I try and take about five to 10 minutes to meditate every day. So if you guys don't already have the Calm app downloaded, I highly suggest it. Practicing meditation for at least five to 10 minutes a day is something that I highly, highly suggest if you ever struggle with higher stress levels, if you struggle with anxiety. It's definitely something that I've incorporated into my routine that's helped manage my anxiety. A huge coping mechanism for me. I'm going to get in about five to 10 minutes of meditation home, get in dinner. I have a business call at 6 p.m. to discuss some logistics for my training app that I'm going to be developing around mid-January. So I'm really excited to be bringing that to you guys in the new year and then just back to work on some more client programming and cryotherapy. So that's my agenda for the evening. I have everything written down in my to-do list, which is another strategy that helps me for keeping my anxiety levels low is planning out my day. I will catch you guys later on. All right guys, here is dinner. It is three ounces of steak with some sauteed asparagus and broccoli, all on top of a bed of lettuce and some rice cakes that I crumbled up and mocked as croutons. Good morning guys, it is Friday, December 29th, and I'm gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast right now. I scrambled up some egg whites and some white rice until the rice got nice and crispy. It's so good, that's the way that I like it. And then I'm going to top it one serving of the salted caramel nut butter from the lion's pack. So this is what it looks like after I've put a little cinnamon and stevia on top and mixed in my nut butter. I know it sounds like a crazy concoction, but give it a try. Get your rice nice and crispy, throw some nut butter on top, and it is bomb.com. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal. One pro tip I wanna give to you guys for how I handle sweet tooth cravings while I'm in prep or just in general in life. I track one of the Bite Meals cookies, whether it be the gooey blondie or the Bite 5 cookie or the brownie, any of them, they're all really good, but let's just say for example, today I tracked one Bite Meals gooey peanut butter or chocolate chip blondie into my uh, my fitness pal for the day, so it was already accounted for for the day. And then what I do, instead of eating it all at once, 
I take little bitty bites of it every time I'm having a sweet tooth craving. Usually stretch it out throughout the whole entire day. Typically, I always want something sweet after a meal. So what I'll do is I'll normally have my meal and then my sweet tooth will kick in and I'll grab my blondie out of the fridge and take a bite and I'm satisfied. And then I put it back and I grab it again next time I'm having a sweet tooth craving. But the great thing is I have it accounted for already. So I'm not falling off track. I'm still staying within my macros because I've plugged it in at the very beginning of the day and then I just sort of make it stretch throughout the whole entire day and every time I'm having a sweet tooth craving I just take a couple bites so that's one of my tactics and my go-to's for satisfying my sweet tooth during prep and I've got many more lots of little diet hacks that I'll be sharing with you guys along the way what's up guys I just got to Barbell it is so loud in here so I hope you guys can hear me but I have a special visitor here with me today
right guys, post-workout meal here. I heated up some tilapia, some asparagus, and some rice seasoned with a little bit of cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and also some turmeric. Solid post-workout meal here. So I've got my post-workout meal here. I put it all on top of a bed of shredded lettuce, chopped everything up with some scissors, and then I added a little bit of honey mustard and my favorite, the chili lime Cholula. So bomb. That is going to wrap up episode two, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Please comment below and let me know what kinds of things you guys wanna see out of this bikini prep series. I want to provide informative and helpful content for you guys. Lots of you guys have been asking about supplements, about posing, things like that. So I do plan on doing a supplement talk, um, an instructional posing video. If those are things that you guys are interested in, please comment below and let me know. And I wanna hear from you guys too. So let me know what kinds of things you guys wanna see and what will be helpful for you. And on that note, Time to eat. Thank you guys for being here. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you in episode three.